Aloha, and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Master Paul. Happy to be joining you today on Facebook Live. I'm going to test the volume. Okay, that appears to be working. And I'm coming at you using the Zoom platform today. Uh, this is September 19, 2017. It's kind of sad, actually, that I have to look at the date uh, to know what day it is. But as a uh, master teacher, um, I stay quite busy. Sometimes I have to remember <laughs> what day of the week it is. Is it a Monday? Is it a Tuesday? Some days are just so busy, I can't even tell those differences. So welcome to all those that are jumping in and joining in. Happy to see you uh, with me here today. This will be a very good day. I just did a little pre-set up so I could talk to you about the subject matter today, which is the 10 greatest qualities of life for a happy and a healthy life. And so I hope that what I have set up will serve you well today in this live stream. I just came out, out of a um, area on uh, Master Shah's uh, structure called Master Shah's Chanting Channel or TV Chanting Channel. And it's such a, a, a underused, excellent place for blessings, wisdom, uh, requesting blessings, um, obviously a place to offer gratitude, but it's just a, a very underused structure. We hope to be able to grow that visibility moving forward with humanity. So wish to welcome everybody. Uh, welcome Janice Crosby, Aloha Muhammad. Welcome Deborah Miller, welcome also to uh, Bonnie Robinson, Aloha Kristen Rojas, and welcome Suki Singh. Welcome Ali, and Aloha also to Susan Birchmore, and welcome Shirley Schuster. Um, welcome Monica and Leandra. Welcome also to uh, Deborah Miller, if I haven't mentioned you. Looks like, uh, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, Facebook is in my phone, it scrolls down, but in the on the computer, it scrolls up. So that's good information to know. And welcome also to Jamie McDonald. I'm sure there's others who have checked in. It's not telling me who you are unless you say hi or something like that, but uh, that's okay. So thank you for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed yesterday's live stream, how to um, harmonize your life while at the same time creating a better future. And if you missed that, then please, you know, uh, Go to my Facebook page. It's all recorded there. And just scroll down a little bit. My, uh, my personal page should not be that busy to find that information. You can also go to my videos and then go to archive section and find my videos from the past there. Um, welcome, Peggy. Welcome also to Linda Jansen. And welcome to Deanne Forbes. Aloha, Kristen Strachan. <clears throat> and so um, today... The reason I decided to focus on the 10 DAWs is because there's an upcoming event in Belgium uh, in the month of October with Master Shah, and it's the 10 DAW Calligraphy Retreat. You will understand by the end of the day what the 10 DA is, what are the 10 greatest qualities, why we call it the 10 DA, um, the nature of each of these qualities, and there's also a mantra that you will hear Master Shah chant. And this mantra is quite beautiful, uh, and it's for each of the ten da. And let me see if I have this book. He does, um, in this book, Soul Over Matter, he does talk about these different um, mantra and gives the words that you will hear him chant. Now, this mantra chanting is actually a blessing. It's a huge blessing. So when I go to that, I will guide you to make a request because it will not be a small blessing. And one of the things that uh, is very important to understand is that when the teacher continually puts an emphasis on something, then it must be important. And there's two things that Master Shah has, his whole, well, three things uh, that he's always put emphasis on. One is that we are in a transition time. He has not taken his emphasis off that. In fact, he has pushed the, the emphasis even more. 
He's trying to advise people that we're in a very pivotal time in humanity, that we need to move a lot faster towards more love and light. The second thing he's always talked about and never taken the gas pedal off of is the power of forgiveness. And the third thing, which he started about uh, four years ago, and he keeps pushing the gas pedal on it, is the, these qualities, the ten da. And so I have come to recognize it's very important not only to teach them, but to practice them in our lives. So I will give you that education today, along with the suggestions for practice. Welcome also to Johnny Mambode. Welcome to uh, Marjo RK. Welcome to uh, any of the other souls that have joined us. If I haven't mentioned your name, I apologize. I haven't seen your name pop up here, but I will keep an eye out for you. And um, so as we prepare for this, let us go ahead and connect, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand remaining pointed towards heaven. So it's very much like a prayer. We just move the left hand over the heart center. And this connects heaven into our heart. This is called a hand mudra or body power. Let us close our eyes and I will invite in the beings of light for this wisdom practice and blessings today. Close your eyes. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine and the Tao and the source, all the beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including angels and healing angels and archangels, the masters and ascendant masters, all of our spiritual mothers and fathers, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Dear all of the <coughs> great servants that have come to humanity, including beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and beloved Kuan Yin, our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you all, honor you, deeply respect you. We ask you to please be with us at this time to assist in the guidance, wisdom, teachings, and blessings associated with the 10 greatest qualities, the 10 Da. We are very humbled, honored, and very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, we honor you, we respect you. We ask you, too, to please be with us at this time. And we ask that as appropriate, you offer blessings at this time for each individual request. We ask that as we uh, chant, that you connect all of us, heart to heart, soul to soul. And we invite all souls in humanity, all souls in Wan Ling, to join with us to chant love, peace, and harmony as well. We're very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So for those that are new or listening for the first time, this is a mantra. This is a healing mantra. You may make a request to heaven. And I recommend that you uh, go to lovepeaceharmony.org and download the song. Okay? Um, Kristen, you might want to check the link to see if it works because it's saying uh, that it's not found. So maybe something the way the link was posted. You can follow the link on Kristen Rojas's uh, posts and uh, learn more about it there. So let us serve together or uh, continue to receive. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, I, wo, shin, er, li. Wo, I, to run, run, lay. Wrong, li, wrong, her, mu, shur, shang. Shang, I, ping, on, a, se. Shang, I, ping, on. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, 
and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you enjoyed that, it's much better when you have the uh, orchestrated music behind it. You can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. Follow the links Kristen has posted there. And um, from those pages, you can actually download the song. The copyright has been removed. And it is recommended to please share it far and wide with as many souls as possible. Uh, the goal is to have it sung by one billion people in all the countries on the planet. And if we can accomplish that, no question about it, there will be world peace. So also welcome to Rianne, welcome to Marjo, welcome to Aspasia, welcome Shelly, and welcome also to CJ and aloha to Allison Turner, Angie Taylor, welcome. And welcome Nikki Davis, welcome Heather Clem, and welcome also to Don Robinson. Thank you all for joining. So today is on the 10 greatest qualities for a happy, healthy life. And when we look at that, uh, everybody, of course, wants to have a happy and healthy life. But sometimes it's not as easy as we would like it to be. Now, I am going to share with you what these 10 qualities are. Give me a moment to pull up my little Zoom window here. And give me one more minute to resize it. Okay. And so... I'm going to share my screen with you. And so the 10 greatest qualities are Da I, the greatest love. Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. Da Tsu Bei, the greatest compassion. Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. Da Chen Bei, the greatest humility. Da he she, the greatest harmony. Da chang sheng, the greatest flourishing. Da gan un, the greatest gratitude. Da fu wu, the greatest service. And da yuan man, the greatest enlightenment. Each of these qualities have a very specific benefit. They represent the positive frequencies that can literally clear every single one of our spiritual debts that, in fact, cause our problems in life. Who would like to clear all their problems in life? How many happy faces do I see with that one? Who wants to clear all their problems in life, right? I imagine that very few of you would not want that. And yet, one of the things we do is we do forgiveness practice to clear some of those blockages. We chant love, peace, and harmony as much as we can. We do a little bit of service here and there to help people. We do our best and still get, you know, whacked here and there, right? And so... Let's look at things a little bit differently. Why did my teacher, Master Shah, put more and more emphasis on these 10 great qualities, which he calls the 10 Das? I see lots of happy faces. Good job, everybody. Why does he put such emphasis on these? Da Ai. These are Mandarin Chinese words, by the way. Da Ai, the greatest love. What is the greatest love? We'll talk about that. The greatest forgiveness. We talk about that all the time. The greatest compassion. I mentioned before, that's a weakness for me. The greatest light. How many people think about spreading their light? What is the greatest light? Well, have you ever smiled a lot just because you really wanted to? That is your light impacting people. That is an example of the greatest light. Me coming to serve here on Facebook. That is bringing light to benefit others. The greatest humility, okay? How many of us walk through life with ego? I'm going to touch on that one a lot. 
harmoniousness. What was yesterday's subject matter? How to create more harmony in our life, right? And I talked to you about how you can catch yourself being in a place where you automatically react because of your ego built up responses over time. And when you stop automatic reactions, you can create more harmony in your life. Because you stop that automatic reaction and you move to a place of love, you brought a more harmonious person to others, right? So you not only did not create more karma, negative uh, spiritual debt, you created more positive energy. So that's a reason why it's one of the 10 qualities or the 10 das. Da Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing. What does that mean? Why is the greatest flourishing something that can help us? Why is it something that can clear our blockages? It can, and we'll talk about that. The greatest gratitude. Oh, you can go on miles, years on this one. The greatest service. We've always talked about that quite a bit. And the greatest enlightenment. And so when we talk about these 10 great qualities, we want to incorporate them as a natural side effect in our life. Show of hands, how many of you have children living in the home? Children living in the home, how many? Let's see the thumbs up. You can say, yep, I got children living in the home. <clears throat> These 10 qualities should be being taught to your children. You should print them out and share it with them. Every day, why not? Why wouldn't you sit down with them and say, honey, let's go over our 10 DAWs today. What have you done? And go over uh, a positive and, uh, and, and an error that they made. Okay, you want them to see where they could have improved. Do a positive and do an, an error, the place that they can improve. Okay, where did you show the greatest love? And if I was you, I would do it for yourself. Okay, mommy, your turn. Where did you show the greatest love? <laughs> okay, now you got to think. Okay, where could you have shown more love? Now, the reason I involved your children in this example is because they are our future. You are part of the future. Everything you do impacts them. But if you can instill this in their life, you know, children are sponges. They're going to go tell it to their friends. They're going to start sharing with the teachers. They're going to start looking forward to it every night as part of your uh, 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 closing session at night, right? So you can make this, you can involve the husband who doesn't spend much quality time with the children uh, because they're busy working, right? And so you can make that something that they do with the kids. And, and, and that way they can improve their connection. There's so many things you can do uh, with this as an example to integrate it in your life. This live stream today is to teach you how to integrate it. I am more than uh, curious about how you might integrate it. Please comment. What will you do to integrate some of this? Um, also, welcome to Jose Lugo and welcome also to uh, Nelson and Lisa. Welcome, Tradizzle. Welcome to uh, everyone else if I haven't mentioned your name. And so, Da, da, um, da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. Da Quan Shu. I don't do a lot of teaching on this. I teach it almost every time I talk to you. But it doesn't mean you can't share it with others. Maybe you don't have children. Do you have a coworker that has significant pain around a subject matter, around a body part, around their financial condition? Why couldn't you share with them what you have learned? What happens when you do that? Okay, you impact the uh, literally you you generate good positive virtue for yourself. You cause that person to stop creating negative virtue by complaining and not doing anything about it. You teach them a skill set, and that's one less person on the planet that is negative, and one more person on the planet that wakes up. Why wouldn't you do that for them? Because you don't think about it. This is another way you can put it into your life. What we teach is what we become. When you teach something to somebody, you learn it, 
Okay, so I encourage you each to do that for a loved one. What's the next one? The next one is, we'll go back to your screen so you can see it. The next one is Datsube, the greatest compassion. Datsube. <clears throat> what is the greatest compassion? Well, we have our beautiful soul, Kuan Yin. Uh, you know, Kuan Yin is an amazing soul. Such beautiful, amazing light. Kuan Yin is known in the East as the Buddha of compassion. You often see her in the images behind me uh, in when I'm uh, showing with my telephone and I have the backdrop behind me. That's Kuan Yin. I'll pull up a picture here for you to see her. Uh, share this screen with her so you can see her. Okay. So this is Kuan Yin, and she has uh, in one of her hands a vase, and in the other hands some beads. Now this picture, yeah, the vase is sitting on the ground next to her there. And Kuan Yin is the Buddha of compassion. She hears humanity's cries. She hears every soul's cry and comes to offer them unconditional service. How is your compassion? Are you the kind of person that goes to that hurt individual and puts your arm around them? Are you the kind of person that offers condolence? Or are you the kind of person that says, oh, they'll figure it out, okay? I need to work a lot better on my compassion. So this is simply an example that you can use to apply, right? Pull up my Zoom again here. All right. So the greatest compassion. Where in your life can you apply that? Where in your life can you bring more compassion to people? You can just walk outside and see it. It doesn't mean you need to physically go there. What if you simply said, Dear the soul, a beloved Kuan Yin, or beloved Jesus, could you please come to this beautiful soul? I'm kind of in a rush now. I have to go to work, but I see their suffering. Could you please assist them in whatever way is most appropriate? That is a compassionate response. It took you five to ten seconds to do. So this is a way in which you are shifting um, yourself into bringing into your life qualities one by one. You can teach your children this. You can practice it yourself. The Timba qualities need to be instilled in every human being's life. If you think about it, uh, in our growing up years when you were two, three, four, five, how did the majority of your learning occur? It was not hearing it. It was witnessing it. What you witness is what you emulated. After you learn to hear and understand, then you would speak it. How many kids you say, dang it, or a, a much worse cuss word, and then your little three-year-old repeats it, right? They emulate what they witness. It is no different now. As you uh, bring into your everyday life these 10 qualities, you are self-clearing your spiritual debts because the, da, the ten da qualities of the greatest love, being more forgiving, bringing more compassion to yourself. What about compassion to self when you pick on yourself, right? Uh, how many times have you said, oh, I'm never going to get this right. Oh, I can't believe I did that again. Oh, I'm such an idiot, right? That is not self-compassion, guys. This is not helping you. So you have to love yourself too. There's so many different ways that we can be compassionate. All right, so now we'll go back to the list. What is the next one? Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. You are the greatest light when you put that smile on your face. You are the greatest light when you laugh. You are the greatest light when you put happy faces on Facebook, you are the greatest light 
when you say something positive on Facebook and it's an unconditionally positive statement. If all you did was grab the beautiful positive quote and put it out there on Facebook every day, that would be spreading light. That would be spreading love. How else can you spread light? You are naturally spreading light when you bring these 10 da greatest qualities into your life because you do them as a, as a natural function of your positivity. You do them. And as a natural function, other people will see you doing them. There's no showing off. You're just being kind to pe people. You are acting in a compassionate way. You say to them, please forgive me. Uh, I apologize for this statement that has caused you to react in anger. You do not react in anger back. You simply give them love. Oh, please forgive me. I'm very clear that you are responding in a very angry manner. And it must have been something that I have said or done. And I certainly do not want for you to be angry. And I certainly did not want to say or do anything that would cause you to be angry. I ask your forgiveness. That is a conscious response. And how is that person going to respond? How could they possibly respond when you show them your light by activating these qualities? The next one is Da Chen Bei, the greatest humility. Greatest humility. So what is the greatest humility? Greatest humility is not looking for approval. The greatest humility is doing something and nobody knows you did it. Service. The greatest humility is not, uh, not uh, wanting to be um, given credit for something and sharing what you have, okay? Uh, sharing your knowledge, sharing your intelligence, sharing your skill set, something you could charge for, you give willingly. That is an act of humility. That is an act of service. That is an act of helping another and not having an expectation of return. It is very humble. Um, humility is giving credit where credit is due. You might have learned something but it doesn't mean uh, you're the one that originated it. Give credit to where it's due. Okay, that is being humble. Um, there are other ways of being humble that are ego-centered. So you have to be careful with this. A lot of times people say, oh, no, 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 it's nothing. But inside they're like, ha, they saw it, good. Um, Sometimes we, we don't say inside, ha, I saw it's good. We just say, oh, no, 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 it's really, it's really nothing. It's really nothing. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That actually is a way of – it's a form of being seen. A better response would be actually to accept. Thank you. I'm very grateful for your comment. Uh, I recognize that I can deliver this message well, and I'm grateful for you saying that. I want you to know it's my teacher that gave me the wisdom. I would not be able to teach it without his wisdom, but I'm grateful for the comment. Thank you. Um, so why do we need to find that balance when you are uh, acting out in humility? Because when you say, no, 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 um, you are not accepting love. You're not accepting a gift. You are not accepting that person's opening their heart and offering you something. You have denied them their desire to offer gratitude. When you say, no, 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 they cannot give gratitude. That's the eighth dog. And you have not opened your heart to receive with love and light. So when you open your heart and you accept that gratitude, you become a better person. Accepting it is not ego. It's accepting it. I am a soul that is on a benevolent path. I accept this love and light so that I can be a better servant. It's a big difference than receiving with ego. And it's a big difference than saying, oh, no, 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 no. 
and which is supportive of an ego aspect and also disallows that person to offer uh, their virtue. And they get, they, when, when a person is grateful, it's very important you allow them to complete that task, that responsibility, because they do not get a merit unless they offer gratitude and it's received, right? So now we go back to the list. Pretty good stuff, huh? So welcome also to Robin, welcome Elizabeth, welcome Doug, and welcome Dana Hendricks. Uh, see if I got everybody. I think so. Welcome, Anna Ferreira. Forgive me if I missed anybody. The next great quality is Da He She, the greatest harmony. This touches on some subject matter of yesterday. For those that missed yesterday's um, live stream, it was on how you can create harmony in your everyday life that might be disharmonious and while doing that, create a better future. If you missed that, please go back to my Facebook live stream, watch again. The greatest harmony is so much greater than that though. Um, very many of us have a lot of disharmony. Disharmony can occur in our finances. Disharmony can occur in, uh, because of our inability to work with coworkers. Disharmony can occur because some people, they're, they're loners. They want to do things alone. I fall into that category. I'm not a big fan of doing things in huge groups. Uh, but that doesn't help me with this, uh, with this 10 da quality. I need to be able to work well in groups. And it's not that I can't, I don't, I don't go in and make uh, a ruckus, but it's also not a hard money is coming into a group and being willing to listen to everybody's thoughts and perceptions, hearing things that you might not want to hear uh, and being in a place of, humility if some of the things that they say are not of the uh, not something that you want to hear but will bring more harmony to everybody you see and so when we apply these qualities in our life we make more light we can be more compassionate to other people when they expand things that are not in humility and they're an ego because when they're an ego we need to apply the greatest love we need to forgive them for being angry with us we need to be compassionate that shows our light it shows our humility and it creates the greatest harmony these are beautiful uh qualities that master shah has brought to humanity and he has not once uh steered away from them he has in fact uh, uh created mantras around them and uh, activities to assist us in our everyday life to do better, uh, to incorporate them in our life. Welcome also to Samantha Brooks and welcome on uh, Gerd. So the next one is one called the greatest flourishing. So when I first saw this quality, the greatest flourishing, I was really surprised. I was like, wow, I wouldn't think of flourishing as a quality. I would think of love as a quality, compassion, sure. But flourishing, a quality? The answer is absolutely. Because flourishing is not, uh, is not um, money. Flourishing is perfect health. Flourishing is perfect relationship. Flourishing is uh, abundance in all of the categories of our life. And why wouldn't we want, need to deserve that? When we were created from original creator, we were the ultimate epitome of all of these qualities. We radiated 1 billion percent of each of these qualities at a 1 billion percentile. We had them all, but through the course of all of our life experiences, pleasant and unpleasant choices, we have steered ourselves away from these qualities. We have steered ourselves away from flourishing in every area of our life. Many of us have significant uh, flourishing issues in the area of finances or in the area of uh, flourishing health. Um, when we activate all the other positive attributes, how can it not positively affect your flourishing? When you do forgiveness, we already know that when you do deep forgiveness, that health issues uh, improve. 
I've seen it for the last 10 years, validated at least a thousand times in personal eyewitness examples. All of those that have followed this wisdom and teachings can validate it. It's not even something that is questionable. It validates itself out. It is a self-creating uh, prophecy, if you will. Those who do deep forgiveness, their health improves. Uh, their finances could improve. So we know that greatest flourishing can be impacted by the application of these ten da qualities. So when we talk about the greatest flourishing, uh, it's not limited to just money. They occur. This is a natural occurrence of the activities that you are doing in your life. How do you bring yourself to life? How do you bring your thoughts? Are your thoughts positive? Are they loving? Are they beneficial to everybody involved? Are you judging? Are you critical of self or of others? Your thoughts, words, and actions can be much easier to manage if instead you focus on all of the ten da qualities. Now, I started out by saying, why not sit down with your child and go through with them one by one? Uh, dear the soul of my children, please come. Let me teach you these ten da qualities. You could do that while the child's in the womb. Or when they come to sit down with you. Okay, um, Jessica, what did you do today that was very compassionate? So you can apply these each day with others or self. Uh, one of Master Shah's more advanced teaching to his teachers is three times a day, check in. Are you applying these 10 DAWs in your life three times a day? That's an advanced teaching, so I'm asking you to do it once. Da Gan An, the greatest gratitude. What were you grateful for today? Everybody write in something they were grateful for today. Think, think, think. What were you grateful for today? Where did that go? Okay, there we go. What were you grateful for today? I'm going to read some of your responses. My relationship with my daughter, waking up with Master Paul. You can't do it now. You have to think of what's already happened, okay? Do it now, it's kind of cheating. I feel like I finally got seen through the magic mirror, a mirror on the romper room. Okay. Uh, Shelly says that I was well enough to watch and do session three of our 12 a week session last week. Good. You see, some of us are you're kind of going, oh, wow, this is this is not easy. This is kind of on the hard side, okay? Some of this is not so easy to think about what we were grateful for today. That's a measurement. Aspasia says waking up happy, okay? Are you thinking about it now or did you already state a gratitude? Uh, Tradizal, I skipped past you. Okay, let's see what you said. No me can help me, Paul. I don't understand that. Um, Shirley says she's grateful for the awesome people in her life. Grateful for that her mother is improving every day. Uh, says Kristen. Kristen Strachan says a coworker found her website, read the blogs and teachings, and is very grateful to save up for a service. Wonderful. And so notice how many of you had to stop and look for a gratitude versus what you may have already shown gratitude for today. Okay. The ideal is to be in a place of gratitude throughout the day. I have finally gotten into a place where when I wake up, it took me a while. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. Thank you to all my Heavens teams. Thank you for this ability to be here another day. Okay? That may or may not be what you do. But when you make it a priority to be grateful. Choose things to be grateful. Find things to be grateful for. Share with your children and others how grateful you are 
for them being in your life. When you share your gratitude, what do you think that does? Doesn't matter if it's silently. Thank you. I am grateful for this. It doesn't matter if you had a near miss. Ah, thank you. I'm so grateful for the protection that that didn't happen. Uh, when you pass the test, thank you. When you, uh, Trudeau, let's talk about this uh, off offline, okay? It doesn't seem like it's something that's good to talk about in, in the public arena, all right? Um, when you are in a place of gratitude and you express it outwardly, how do you think that person feels? How do you feel when you actually receive the gratitude? Remember the humility comment, right? If you don't receive the gratitude, <clears throat> um, then you cut off that person's ability to give you their love, their appreciation. So when you offer it and that person actually receives it, they feel so warm and fuzzy, right? A great way to build up positive virtue is to offer a lot of it. Very, just share it. It's like smiling, opening your mouth and smiling, share the gratitude. It is one of the best ways to distribute flowers is sharing your gratitude. So very often we're so stuck in our own stuff, we fail to do this. The teachings, the teachings are if you do more positive things in your life, you have less time to focus on the negative. If you do more tenda qualities purposefully and consciously, you cannot be in a place of negativity. If you say, think, and act upon the tenda qualities, more consistently in your life, you are purposely, without even thinking about it once you get there, creating a positive and beautiful future. Because the focus on positivity brings you more of that. The focus on negativity brings you more of that. So sometimes it's hard to switch off a negative and be positive. So don't. Do things selflessly for others. Be grateful. Uh, show less ego. Be humble. Share your wisdom with others. Do things that serve others. Receive their gratitude. Okay? Share your light. Share your compassion. Teach others love and forgiveness. Show them some of the books. Show them Master Shah's information. Show them and teach them things that will uplift their soul. Every time you do positive and serve others in these ways, by applying these simple wisdoms, you are not in a place of negativity. Can't be. You're too busy being positive and consciously, actively helping others. Okay? This is application of the 10 Da's. Welcome, Erica. Thank you for joining. And so, what is the next of the 10 Da's? We have the greatest service. What do you think all this is when we're doing this? The greatest service. I want to give you a deeper education on this. Dafu Wu, the greatest service. I uh, just offered a, a short, well, short, a one hour teaching on Master Shah's chanting channel. Uh, a, an amazing, amazing place. tv.drshaw.com. I'll type it in here. And tv.drshaw.com is an unconditional service. It is offering service unconditionally, free of charge, and people are completely clueless of its value. So I was on there offering a, a free class today, just before this started, and I was following my soul guidance, and I was teaching on selflessness on this chanting channel structure. And so I was following my soul where it was leading me in the teaching. I had no idea where I was going with it. It was just giving me a teaching, so I was speaking out that teaching. And I got a much deeper aha insight. Most of the time, we think of selfishness and selflessness as inside of us or outside of us, excuse me, outside of us. If I'm selfish, then I'm taking care of myself. I'm doing it for me. I'm greedy. Selflessness, on the other hand, we think of it as doing something for others outside of us. Well, the previous, you know, eight examples are reasonable examples of that. But in today's teaching, I got an inside example of selfishness. And it was a really big insight. And it was insight in which 
we um, it's it's the 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 way the wisdom came to him was like this. We fail as human beings to recognize at the most pure, clear cut, no questions asked, I got it. For the first time, I got it. We fail to recognize at the I got it level that we are all truly beyond our recognition interconnected. And the image that heaven showed me when I was teaching this was that imagine a, 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 a spider web, right? Where all the, the, the lines cross each other. And you can see it going around and around and around and all these lines crisscrossing each other. And imagine seven billion crisscrosses, right? This massive spider web. And on each one of those lines, imagine a human being, okay? Seven billion human beings lined up on the spider web. Each of that human being is standing on one of the lines on the spider web, okay? You got that image in your head? That's what heaven showed me. And they said, every time a human being thinks something negative, they pluck that string and it reverberates to every human being. Can you imagine that? Every time a human being thinks something positive, offers a gratitude, thinks of loving humanity, they pluck that string, positive energy goes out. Every human being on this strand was created from the exact same one soul. We were created from the exact same creator, every one of us. We were one, and then we became seven billion plus. Okay, for simplistic purposes, we'll just we'll just keep it at seven billion. Okay, Boom. we're still one, guys. Just because you're stuck in your ego, and I'm stuck in my ego, and I'm taking care of me, and you're taking care of you, and I'm greed, and you're greedy, doesn't mean we're not one. We are. And the way heaven put it to me was, we are being selfish when we uh, think something negative, and we don't say anything about it uh, and we don't you know we think that person doesn't know we instantly create karma i got it on a deeper level why do we instantly create karma because the moment we think something negative we pluck that string it goes over to that person a lot of people run through life with a very false belief system they believe that god is mean judgmental and created this karmic thing that god is creating the suffering of my life uh, they, they, they don't recognize that that person that they affected is on the same spider web that they're standing on. They don't recognize that the reason it comes back to them is because that reverberation, when you pluck that string, it went drink to that person. And if it doesn't come back, then there is no balance. The spider web affects everybody. What if the negative thought was sent to that person and that person was already in an unpleasant area and it expands their negativity. How big is that spiritual debt now? Then it goes past them and it reverberates past them. Ugh, that's a scary thought, huh? We individually and collectively are responsible for all of the calamities on the planet. It doesn't matter if it's political, doesn't matter if it's all the geo weather that's going on, doesn't matter if it's the hurricanes and all that. The biggest truth is that we are collectively responsible. Our collective spider web, if it is positive and loving, we would have perfect weather. We would have no political problems. We would be a perfect society. We are literally a collective representation. The greatest service is understanding that at the intellectual level that it was delivered to me that I'm now delivering to you. Taking responsibility for your thoughts, words, and actions. Moving yourself into a place of positivity. Moving yourself into a place of service by offering the greatest uh, harmony in your communication. The greatest light by your smile. The greatest compassion when you walk by. Ask heaven to come to that soul. Ask your soul to chant for them. Offering the greatest forgiveness instead of responding in anger, okay? All of these actions minimize the spiderweb negative reverberation 
and in fact create a positive reverberation. Let's say that you go out of way, your way and you serve somebody with a positive comment or action. It then impacts them positively. It then creates a positive smile on their face and their heart opens and the next time they are near another person they bring positivity to that person and that spider pluck wing that 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 string that you started with that positive effect goes don't don't on the line du -du 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 -du. the concept of pay it forward is very real now i have to hire somebody who's really good with graphics and have them create that on a video huh how cool would that be so service is very important that's a ninth of the ten da what is the tenth da the greatest enlightenment okay the greatest enlightenment what is the greatest enlightenment it is the understanding it is the understanding of why you're here how you fit in the entire web of this thing we call life and what you can do to no longer be a, uh, a cog in the wheel, what you can do instead to be oil in the machine of life, how you can assist everything to function much more and much better. The enlightened beings have all one thing in common. They have mastered the ninth da. They have mastered the greatest service because the greatest service incorporates the greatest gratitude, the greatest flourishing, the greatest harmony, humility, the greatest light, the greatest compassion, and incorporates all of the ten das. And by incorporating all of them, you open your heart. Soul enlightenment literally means the soul sits in the heart center. The soul goes through the chakras called soul houses in its uh, process of enlightenment. We go through the different lifetimes, learning, forgetting, learning, forgetting, getting better, getting better, getting better, clearing the spiritual debts, clearing the negative energies, doing more positive, 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 like the ten das, until such time as we have developed enough lifetimes of good and positive service, which means we pluck the string consistently in a positive way that reverberated and helped others clear their karmic debts, because we're all one and you become enlightened at the level of soul you continue to move through your enlightenments until you remove the negative mindsets attitudes beliefs all of your egos and all of your attachments and then you have a mind enlightenment and along the way your physical body becomes a enlightened body and then you return to creator this is how the ten das connect to each other this is how the ten das are interrelated. This is how each one uh, are harmonious with each other. And you can apply them in your life by consciously and purposely implementing them uh, instead of being in a place of negativity. <clears throat> you may wish to, um, you may wish to, I will copy paste this into the chat box. You may wish to, Take them out of the chat box and copy paste them onto your own computer and print out some pages and post them in places where you can always be reminded, okay, I'm steering towards negativity here. What can I do to shift myself to positivity? Uh, a lot of people shift themselves out of negativity just by focusing on things they are grateful for. Just by focusing on things they are grateful for, they can shift themselves out of negativity. Okay. You can offer service. You can chant love, peace, and harmony to serve others. There are so many ways that you can shift yourself applying these 10 da's and be of the greatest value. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the video that Kristen just posted, and this will be our blessing for the day. Okay? So everybody sit up straight. You're going to receive a blessing directly from my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah. <clears throat> Trust me. His blessings are extraordinary. And then Kristen has posted this so you can then watch it whenever you desire. All right? So let me, uh, where is Zoom? Pop up there. Okay. I will share this video. 
And then I will play it. Where is it at? Okay, give me a moment. I got to find the video. There it is. All right. And I'm going to share my screen. And please enjoy. I will start it in just a moment. Okay, I hope you can hear it. I'm not sure. Tell me if you can hear it, please. Otherwise, I'll start it again. Okay. Good. Okay, give me a moment. I just had to make sure um, you didn't get an echo effect, and then I can turn up the volume so you can hear it. I, I believe this will work. Yeah, 
流大河血，三人同心，七里不安尽，成功秘诀，七大长生。到此应付，青山积德，道业长生，八大感恩，道生德养，栽培慈惠。道恩永存，九大福，十位功夫，五思奉献，上乘法门，十大圆满。灵心脑神圆满，人地天道神仙体，不修炼才可攀。好啊 ，Are you blessed, not blessed? 好好好 ，Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that was a huge, huge, huge blessing, whether you know it or not. <clears throat>、um, Master Shah is an extraordinary servant of humanity, and he is the one that brought these ten da qualities to us.、Uh, I'm just、uh, delivering a different、uh, way to experience, and then bring them into your life. So I bow my head to my spiritual father for his service to humanity. Beautiful soul. So I hope that today's wisdom was of value for you.、Uh, I encourage you to copy and paste the ten da qualities as I as I drop them into the comments field, and put them around your house, and check in with yourself at least once a day. <clears throat> What areas can I put more emphasis on?、Uh, can I share one of these qualities with others?、Um, where can I improve? The more you bring these positive attributes into your life, the less room you will have for negativity. The more you bring them into the life, then the better your life will become. Simply because you're no longer manifesting unpleasant things. And so,、uh, I'm very grateful to Master Shaw for this. If you are interested in the highest quality version of this, it is through Master Shaw's Ten Da Calligraphies. <coughs> Um, and the ten da calligraphies、uh, can be individually owned. They can you can learn to draw them. You can basically clear your blockages a lot better by learning how to do the ten da calligraphies. So at Master Shah's website,、uh, there is an event coming up in Belgium. So it can it can be on webcasts. Obviously, best in person. To learn a calligraphy, you want to do it in person. But、um, If there is interest to learning this art form and self-clearing your blockages, then I definitely would recommend it. Okay, so you can learn more. And Kristen, I'm sure, is grabbing that link and she'll drop it in there, or、um, if you're interested in learning more about it. Okay, so、uh, I'm grateful to Zoom. They have provided a nice format for me today to serve all of you. <clears throat> the I believe the way this works is when I end the meeting, the video will start spinning and saying that、uh, I. Uh, I lost my signal, but in fact, what happens is it will eventually cut off, and then it will get posted. Okay, for all those that came in late,、uh, they saw they don't didn't see all of this. Recommend you go back and subscribe to me and friend me. You can always watch the recordings, and you can know when I go live next. So thank you all, love you all, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody.